Alright YouTube, what you got? Another unboxing. An Elite Trainer box. As you can see, you can see one of the kitties in the background. That's Patches, the Calicchio, uh, the little girly we have. Anyways, to give you a little update, today's Monday. The mailman has already been cane this morning. No package. So that means... A, the package was delivered to the wrong household and the people didn't either send it back or dropped it off over here or B, the sender decided they were going to scam to keep the money and put down a different address with a name on there. See, this is a pretty decent known scam, especially with PayPal. And usually overseas do this, especially China. They'll ship the item off with tracking on it. With your name. But a different address. But yet, on the tracking, it doesn't show where it's being delivered. It's like no house numbers on there. So it's maybe like a, a city or a state or a company that's being sent from the people. You know, the sender. So, when the item gets delivered to this wrong address it'll show up as delivered that way the people can keep your money and say hey it was delivered you know i sent something out and you're basically gonna lose the money because paypal don't do no investigation they don't do nothing they just see or look at the tracking and be like oh it's delivered you know you got the item, so so we're not going to refund you back the money. And you're out the money. Hey, girly. It's Tuxy, the other little girly we have. We have three girls, and we got three boys, six kitties. <clears throat> Anyways, this that hurt because I, fi I filed out the claim. Today, I got noticed that it got sent to the right department. So now I got to wait maybe another 24, 48 hours to find out what the results are. If this person really did ship something out, you know, to the correct address and maybe the mailman sent it to the wrong house or I just got scammed, you know, either which way it's a loss, you know, and it's hurt because this is my vivid voltage booster box. I was looking so forward to, you know, <sighs> so anyways, we have the sun and moon crimson invasion next on the list. You know, we've done the sword and shield already. We knocked out those elite trainer boxes. I don't have any uh, coming in right now, but I do have a battle styles booster box coming. Hopefully, I get that tomorrow because um, this is coming from the main factory who ships out the sports cards, Pokemon cards, any type of cards, fat heads, and etc. You know, to the store. So this is guaranteed to show up. <sighs> Otherwise. Cosmic Eclipse hasn't shown up yet, so I can't do that first. So I'm doing Crimson Invasion, then we got Burning Shadows next, you know. And so I'm basically down to the other two. That's just Shiny Fates and Hidden Fates to give you a little update. Let's get started with the box, shall we? Excuse me, I hit the camera, but here we just got a green cover with a design, nothing fancy or anything. And then we have the booklet. Mm -hmm. You can tell this came directly from the factory itself. Oh, we got a nice design. In fact, we saw some of the designs that's underneath the actual slip cover, you know, that you don't really see. I always get my little booklets so I can do the checklist in the back and get some nice little updates of what's going on with the expansion set. And of course, I don't have one of the Crimson Invasion 
ETB, so I guess to show you what's inside of it. Ah, it looks like the older set is a little bit different from the newer ones, you know. So here we got the blue die. Because you always had the little cardboard, but the, there was more to it with the middle, you know. So I definitely can't just put cards in the middle like I used to in this one. We got the covers right here. <laughs> As always, your energy cards. I never open any of those up. And the GX and things. I don't know what really this is for. I, I don't really play the cards because I kind of really suck at it. <laughs> Okay. And here we got eight packs to deal with. They look good. They haven't been tampered with. So awesome, awesome. Because anybody who does some foul stuff to cards deserve karma. The worst kind of karma. <laughs> I said I'm I'm real sour about that visual voltage. I really am. All right, we got ghastly. Nothing too fancy with them. A simplistic design. Oh, that's a nice detail. And our reverse. And here's our hollow. Oh, I like the hollow, how they did that, the little water ripple. Got a decent hit. Give y'all something to look at, right? Oh, these packs just rip open. Oh, Lord. Trying to do well to keep some of these packs. Oh, reverse. Beware. Oh, another hollow. Titan now. Looks pretty nice. So it was pretty decent. Also, what I want to talk about is somebody wrote me something nasty. Somebody basically got on me about how I'd be talking about these uh, V Maxes or their shinies, your full R trainers or whatever. I'd be calling them bad boys or big boys, you know. And I don't know what's going on in this person's mind. Like, how do you get off by hearing a term to Pokemon cards, you know? Why are you so offended? You know, when I say looking for the big boys, I'm talking about the VMAXs, you know. I'm pretty sure you get what I'm saying, but why get offended at the term, you know? Like, I don't get it, you know. I don't care if you're homophobic, okay. Don't come on my page with that. Anyways, I'm definitely hoping to get at least two big boys out of this. Or maybe I should change it because, you know, if there's one person, there's probably going to be more complaining about it. So I'm hopefully to get the best card. Maybe get two best hits, you know? Okay. Right, reverse. Oh, she nothing behind that. And there's the regular version. And of course, the camera goes out of focus on the key. Man, I'm really 
try and save some of these Crimson Invasion, but they just fall apart. They just rip up, you know. But I guess as long as I keep the front design. <laughs> Our reverse. Unfortunately, nothing behind that. And usually, when that happens, when I get to the fourth pack, I kind of get nervous and scared. Since my roommate ain't here, all the kitties are downstairs. And they don't want to be alone. A pretty decent design. <laughs> Jiggly Puff. Here's our reverse. Unfortunately, nothing behind it. Oh no, it's getting kind of sad, people. Our reverse. I think I already have that. Nothing behind it. Oh no. It's looking sad. I'm down to my last two packs. And I have not got a best card. Or should I say a big boy? <laughs> I'm still say it. That's a nice magic card to look. Okay. Thought it was sticking together. Here's our reverse. And finally we got a big boy. A nice one. One that I wanted to. Cartana GX. It's nice looking. I like it. So finally got something. And it was one of the ones I wanted. Finally, right? Put this up here. Our last pack. I doubt that there's going to be a big boy in this, but it'll be nice, you know, to get one, you know, I mean, like a second one. Because just to get one out of a whole eight packs is kind of sad. I expect better out of a Elite Trainer box, you know. I'm, I'm having flashbacks of other Elite Trainer boxes that I have opened before. See what we get. Our reverse, I think I already have. Nothing, oh my. A sh sad display. Sad display. I'm pretty sure y'all were disappointed like I was. Even so, I got one big boy, one best card. Some hollows. I'm pretty sad about how <laughs> I didn't get no 
better hits out of that. Either which way, something adds to the collection, something's better than nothing, like that Vivid Voltage uh, booster box. <laughs> Anyways, leave some likes, some comments. Please subscribe. I do need the subscribers. Enjoy.